um, based in Spain, and I've been asked to chair a few sessions at the conference. Um, so we're starting this morning with population-based health strategies. Unfortunately, one of our speakers is missing. Perhaps he's having a cup of coffee somewhere, I don't know. Uh, but I'd like to introduce you to David Cedeño, who's from the Madrid Community Health Service, and from Geert Benskins from the Flanders Regional Health Authority. Um, we have Ramuj and David from the Imperial College London, and we have, sorry, Mark, I'm only allowed to say Mark, who's also from Belgium and Health Authority. So perhaps we could start, David, with your talk. Uh, David's speaking in Spanish, but later we can have questions and help with any language difficulties if we need to. So we'll stick to the, the talks, and then at the end we'll, we'll pull together our questions and our, and our debate. Thank you, David. Buenos días. Eh... Good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming. I would like to thank ISIC and the scientific committee for uh, picking my uh, uh, talk. I'm going to start straight away with it. Uh, its title is The uh, Clinical View of uh, the Healthcare Professional. In, uh, Madrid, we have more than 50,000 uh, healthcare professionals, 34 hospitals, including monographic supportive uh, mid uh, hospitalization and conventional hospitals. We uh, have 428 primary care centers, of which 265 are primary healthcare center, and the rest are local practices. Currently, we have uh, over 6 million citizens with an individual health care card. The comorbidity and the number of patients with uh, chronic diseases, we know that by 2050 will account for one third of the population, which will be over 65 years. On your right, you can see how the population pyramid is reversing. In Spain, the current life expectancy is 83.1 years, and studies forecast that uh, by 2040, Spain will be probably the top country in uh, life expectancy with 85.8 years. Currently, the region of Madrid is the region with the highest life expectancy in Europe. Epidemiologically speaking, the prevalence of chronic diseases is growing and the multimorbidity is increasing also with age. So the older the citizen, the more the chronic diseases and the higher the multimorbidity uh, with diseases such as uh, kidney failure or heart failure or diabetes, this kind of patients have a, a high hospitalization burden and have an impact on the economy and the healthcare system. There are several studies showing that the public uh, expenditure for these patients is higher than 75% and the causes of death are higher than 60%. If we want a universal, sustainable and equitable healthcare system, we need to readjust our systems towards cost-effective intervention systems uh, which address those target populations. These interventions must be proactive and adjusted to the actual needs of patients. So what is the action when approaching chronic patients in the region of Madrid? Well, as in the national service and uh, the same as in other region in regions in Spain, we are conducting uh, population stratification and risk adjustment models. There are several indicators and groupings in Spain, ACGs, CRGs, etc., which are predictive risk models. These uh, groups group the general population by strata and they 
score the level of risk of individuals. Uh, the region of Madrid decided together with the ministry to work with all the 13 regions and use this adjusted uh, risk level. So what Madrid did was introduce a number of uh, data with all the active chronic episodes and those which were closed in the last years. Also, the active acute pathologies in the last year and cancers, neoplasies in uh, the last two years. And this is uh, coded also with uh, CIE 9 and 10 with data from the last four years. We also include demography data, including age or sex, which allow to stratify the risk of the individual citizens in the region of Madrid. With those data, we have uh, an onset database classifying the population according to the risk level. Level zero without a relevant uh, chronic pathology, and then levels one, two, uh, three levels. One is low two is medium level and three is chronic patients with high risk levels. The region of uh, Madrid uses the permanent Kaiser pyramid where chronic patients are classified by the acuity of their uh, disease. Those with the most acute uh, diseases are uh, classified with a high level, then we have a middle level, and then low level patients. This is the current populational stratification in the region of Madrid. 55.54% are citizens with the relevant chronic disease, which is uh, almost 4 million people. And then we have 44.46% uh, of people without a chronic uh, relevant pathology around 3 million people. The total of the population is 6,749,000. So with a high uh, level of risk, we have 180,000, a little bit more than half a million patients, which is 15% of those chronic patients which have a, a medium risk and uh, those with a low level, which uh, accounts to around 3 million people. What did Madrid do to change all this? Well, we introduced the view, the perspective of the healthcare professional up to now. The uh, risk uh, levels uh, uh, have been evolving towards levels of intervention where the uh, primary care portfolio has been adapted and the strategies of uh, the region of Madrid have also been adapted. This means that there is now a new approach in the care of these chronic patients. Here we can see the evolution. It all started in 2014 with the chronic strategy, then there was a first stratification in 2015, then the level risks have uh, been incorporated, then in 2016 there was a second stratification. The portfolio was adapted to uh, the stratification, then uh, there was a, a communication uh, dissemination plan in 2017, and uh, in April 2017, uh, the primary care professionals started allocating the uh, intervention levels. There was a third stratification in 2018. There have been also integrated care processes in 2019, and uh, Currently, we are validating. We hope that by the end of this month, we will be done with the fourth stratification, including data from uh, 2018. So what is the intervention level? It's the level that the doctor and the nurse in primary care allocate to the 
patient according to the uh, information given by the group and also by the knowledge that the uh, healthcare professional has on that patient, the social, family, economic, functional, cognitive, and self-care situation. So we take risk levels as a system for supporting decision-making. But here, the uh, health knowledge is of great importance, including also the assessment made by the healthcare professional. So we've moved from a static stratification to a dynamic stratification where the medical uh, healthcare professional and nurses also gain a more predominant role. Not only that, but also intervention levels determine certain roles, tools, and services uh, that uh, are at stake now in this uh, care model focused on uh, patients with uh, relevant chronic diseases. This is more relevant with uh, self-care. We are talking about uh, active patients managing the disease uh, for medium risk patients with high risk patients who have to provide more care. So what is the goal of Madrid with all this? Well, we want to include uh, the view, the perspective of the healthcare professional in the populational stratification by allocating intervention levels that activate interventions and actions according to the actual needs of the patients throughout the entire care process. We also introduce a dynamic uh, level, which is very important, where the healthcare professional reassesses uh, in an agile way and assigns, allocates an intervention level according to the care situation. So uh, they generate a stratification model that can be supported by all the integrated care processes that provide very high levels of quality as they establish where, how, and who is the uh, most suitable healthcare professional. Therefore, the needs are adapted according to the intervention level. Uh, primary healthcare centers are also adapted according to the needs, and we promote a shared care, which is now more adapted to the patient needs, focusing more on the uh, most severe and most complex patients. We also uh, foster innovative and proactive processes and actions that uh, aim at uh, fostering the uh, autonomy and involvement of the patient, trying to avoid hospitalizations. How do we do that? With proactive follow-ups, uh, alternative specific circuits, uh, and uh, different types of nursing cares. We also provide um, a service portfolio in primary care, which is adapted to these levels of intervention. We activate certain actions according to the intervention levels that have been assigned. The region of Madrid is uh, reviewing the stratification that was made with GMAs and is now allocating new intervention levels, but it is prioritizing those patients with highest levels of risk, patients that are based on uh, the uh, complex chronic patient pie where uh, the care process is prioritized over uh, other patients. It's uh, important to remember that uh, patients are individuals with different needs and therefore the actions on each of them may be different. The region of Madrid has also developed a visual alert system in all its computer systems that allow all healthcare professionals in the network to visualize the levels of intervention in real time. What are the data we have in Madrid? We have data on the stratification by level of risk and then by intervention levels. This is something I uh, have shown you before, so I'm going to go on. The stratification by levels of risk, here we have uh, some data about uh, the uh, 6,700,000. We've prioritized uh, those patients with a three level of risk, which accounts to 180,000 patients. The healthcare professionals have uh, reviewed 
people with uh, the three level of risk, and they've uh, uh, reviewed 66 percent, 48 percent of the mid level, and 34 percent of the low risk. This started in April. Uh, 2017, and we are currently given a high intervention level to 18,000 patients, uh, a medium uh, intervention level to 100,000, and low three level, a million patients. So we believe that in Madrid, Classifying patients according to intervention levels given by a healthcare professional suits intervention better for the patient's needs, especially those patients which are more fragile uh, and more complex, uh, because we uh, include the multidimensional perspective of the patient's situation in their environment. We believe it's uh, fundamental to have healthcare, health, healthcare professionals involved in this model. In order to continue, we need to have more relevant conclusions on this uh, care model. Finally, I would like uh, to mention that we must go on in order to overcome obstacles. If we manage to do that with energy and passions, we will meet our goals with passion. Thank you.